long are we going to sit here before someone actually talks with us? Easy, son. You might not have noticed that we're just a little busy here. I'm Detective Pierce. I've read the report turned in by Mrs. Sweeney, and I want to assure you that we'll do everything possible to locate Pam. Let me assure you that most of these cases turn out to be nothing. Nothing? Some dude scares the hell out of Pam on the phone and then shows up at the park looking just like he walked out of Psycho? Then the same guy makes a threatening call to her at school, and then she disappears without a trace? But you're right. It's probably nothing. She went camping or something and forgot to tell anyone. Sorry, son, but your facts are slightly off. Pam called the dude, not vice versa, and nothing ties the man you saw in the park to the phone call. The call to Pam at school could have been a prank, just like the call Pam made. What you don't know is that Pam may have left to be with her father back east. She's been having some problems with her mother. Everything you say is probably true, but here's Pam's cell phone. The received list has the number of the guy who called her. Wouldn't it make sense to at least check the number out? This is the place. Belongs to a Mrs. Sarah King. We tried calling detective, phones off the hook. One of you head around back, just in case. I'll go up to the front door. Mrs. King, please come to the door. I'm Detective Pierce, and I'd like to speak with you. Hello, Mrs. King? Looks like your Mrs. King left in a big hurry. Pam may have called as a crime was being committed. The man answering the phone could have been the perpetrator. Pam's call may have made him think that she knew something about his crime. We found Pam's number on Mrs. King's machine. It would be easy enough for someone to track her down once they had that number. Now, we don't know if the two disappearances are related, but we're investigating. This is all my fault. I was in the house when she made that call. I could have prevented it. We'll contact you as soon as we have any information. I just need to talk to Tommy for a minute. When was it that you last saw Pam? I told you when I dropped her off at her house. Did anyone see you drop her off? Why are you asking me? And what me? did the driver of that vehicle you saw look like? You were the only one to see him, weren't you? Wait a minute. Where is she, Tommy? Did you kill her? No, I didn't. And I don't have to listen to this. Go ahead and leave, Morris. We'll talk soon. Mrs. Sweeney, you're still here. I'm waiting for a cab. I'm so sorry about Pam. I'm sure she's going to turn up okay. I hope you're right. She's a good kitty, and if her mother's not the greatest. Come on. I'll give you a ride. Pam's all I've got. I'm sure she's going to be all right, Mrs. Sweeney. They're doing everything they can to find her. Tommy, you're so sweet. Such a comfort. Uh, happy to help. I, I don't want to be alone tonight, Tommy. I need someone. I know it's hard for you to understand, but I'm afraid. I do understand. I'm afraid, too. For Pam. Then you'll stay. Sorry, Mrs. Sweeney. I've really got to go. Goodbye, Tom. And what time did you leave her house? I've already told you. What's the point of going over this again and again? We're just trying to make sure we have everything right. Maybe we missed some little detail. That's bull! You suspect me and you're trying to catch me in a lie! You won't, so why don't you quit wasting time and find out what really happened to Pam? You're right, son. You can go now. We'll call you if we need it. Yeah, I know. So what's the latest on Pam? Heard you were questioned down at the station. There's nothing new. Cut the crap, Morris. I think you're the reason she's missing. And if I find out I'm right, I swear that you're gonna pay. I told you, there's nothing. Now, get out of my way. Uh, here's the address. Truck is loaded and waiting out back. Got it. Any word on the girl? No, nothing. Well, I'm sure the police will find her safe. Oh, and uh, hey, try not to get lost again. Yeah, right. 3125 East Country Drive. Tommy here. 
Yeah, I'll be home about seven. What the? Gotta go, Aunt Mary. I'll call you later. That's the truck. I'll be damned if you're going to get away. I'm gonna need help. My name is Tommy Morris. I'm following the guy who abducted Pam Sweeney. No, Pam Sweeney. She was abducted? No, I'm not Pam. My name is Tommy Morris. I'm at the intersection of 27 and Wilson. Are you listening? I can't come into the station. I'm chasing a vehicle that I believe... Forget it, the cavalry just arrived. I'll end this now. Hey, wait a minute. I I'm the good guy. Whatever you say. How long am I supposed to sit here? Hey! Is anyone gonna talk to me? Sure, I'll talk to you. Do you see who Pam is? He's not your guy. What do you mean he's not the guy? I saw the car. Sit down, Tommy. You didn't see that car. The man is an antique car collector. On the day Pam disappeared, he was 160 miles away at a classic car show. We checked. He was definitely there, with that car. Then explain why he ran from me. He's a stranger in town. Sid just started chasing him. He was afraid. Think about it. He's the wrong guy, son. Why don't you run on home? Oh, and one last thing. Don't go chasing any more cars. It's dangerous. And I'll charge you next time. Not to mention expensive. Your suspect plans to sue. I'm going to make that last delivery. But you better get a move on. It's an out-of-towner and it'll be dark soon. Please don't get lost again. That's your nephew, isn't it? Yeah, my sister's boy. She died a couple of years ago, so he stays with us. Thought he was headed off to college. Yeah, that's what we all thought. But the disappearance of the Sweeney girl last year knocked him for a loop. I just hope something happens to bring closure to the whole thing. Then he can get on with his life. Just enough time for a gut bomb. Number three? Supersized? Eh, uh, just regular. Hey, Morse. What's up, Kyle? Not much. Have you heard anything new about Pam? No, nothing. How sad is that? Someone's getting away with murder. Let's just hope the cops break the case, right, Tommy boy? Forget the burger. Uncle Pete's gonna kill me. Damn, Cell's dead. Stupid map. Miller Road, where the hell am I on this thing? Useless! inside that house. 